Use the verb be to describe and define. Use the verb be to describe the subject of a sentence. You can use either a noun or an adjective after the verb be. You can use the verb be plus an adjective to describe conditions, physical characteristics, age, and personality. Let's take a look. Conditions. He is ready. Physical characteristics. I am strong. Age. My son is six. Personality. Ali is handsome. Use be to describe and define. You can use the verb be plus a noun or a noun phrase to identify or define something or to describe occupations and relationships. Let's look at the three key headings. Identifying, describing occupations, and describing relationships. Under identifying we have he is ready. Under describing occupations we can say he is a doctor. And under describing relationships you can say we are classmates. In academic writing the contracted forms of the verb be are not acceptable. Use the full forms of the verb in both affirmative and negative sentences. For example, they are, this is the contracted form, they're not responsible for the research. This is unacceptable. An acceptable version would be, they are not responsible for the research. They are is the full verb is the full form of the verb be. Exercise 3, page 45. Fill in the blanks with the verb be plus an adjective. Please note, your answers will vary. This is only an example. Number 1. My teacher is creative. Number 2. My classmates are friendly. Number 3. My parents are intelligent. Number 4. My neighbors are helpful. Number five, my cousins and I are athletic. And number six, I am serious. Continued exercise four, page 45. Using the verb be with nouns, answers will vary. Number one, there is an inhaler for my asthma in my backpack. Number two, there is a clock on my desk. Number three, my father is a businessman. Number four, someone who writes novels is a novelist. Number five, there is a supermarket downtown. And number six, someone who designs houses is an architect. Exercise five, page 46, editing a paragraph for correcting mistakes in adjectives. Let's take a look. I have a new digital camera and I am very excited about using it because it has so many features useful. That is incorrect. Let's continue with the correct version. Because it has so many useful features. I do not need to spend a lot of time focusing it. It has automatic focus. People do not have to wait a long time for me to take their picture. In addition, its lens is powerful. I can photograph a person and scenery and both are clear when I print the finals pictures. Incorrect. And both are clear when I print the final pictures. Another feature allows me to delete pictures blurry. That is incorrect. Another feature allows me to delete blurry pictures. I save a lot of money because I do not have to print ugly pictures. I'm very excited about my new camera because it is convenient, easy, Nope, that is incorrect. I am very excited about my new camera because it is convenient and easy. And I can take interesting pictures with it. That is incorrect. And I can take interesting pictures with it. I expect to have a lot of fun with it. End of Unit 2.